Elon Musk is the one man who's got his hands everywhere. In fact, he's definitely invested in a bunch of things because he's got a passion for innovation. Space, the evolution of electric vehicles, or even a biotech company, he's got it all. And to top it off, he seems to love some controversy. It turns out the Tesla CEO is reportedly considering an investment in Neuralink's rival brain chip company. First off, Elon Musk was pretty frustrated with Neuralink's slow progress. It seems like Musk's getting more and more frustrated with the slow progress at his biotech company, which is basically trying to implant microchips in people's brains. Yep, that's right. All that sci-fi stuff you see in movies and the conspiracy theories on YouTube might actually become a reality pretty soon. And if we know anything about him, it's that he's a very determined man who's passionate about the advancement of science. So, when he's after getting something done, no matter how bizarre or unreal it sounds, there's definitely a possibility that he just might end up doing it. Launched in 2016, Neuralink was actually co-founded by Musk to develop implantable brain chip interfaces that might become the ultimate connection between humans and computers. And, just like his other ambitious projects, he claimed back in 2019 that Neuralink's gonna be able to receive regulatory approval for their product by the end of 2020. But, to be fair, the pandemic happened, and then came the global crisis and economic shutdown, so it kinda makes sense why they couldn't meet their deadline. Having said that, the world's pretty much moved on. It's 2020, and everything's back on track. So clearly, Elon was expecting a lot more progress than they've actually made so far. And, perhaps it's the fear of someone beating him to the idea, but he's even ready to partner with rivals if it means that he's going to be able to speed up the process. And, to make matters worse, a lesser-funded startup seemed to be a step ahead. Four current and former Neuralink employees told Reuters that Musk seemed pretty frustrated with the staff while going over the progress they've made. And, what was his response to the situation? He approached the CEO of a rival firm, Synchron, to discuss a potential deal. Yep, he's willing to go any lengths to make his ideas a reality. And it makes sense because Neuralink hadn't even started human trials in 2021, but Musk claimed at a Wall Street Journal conference that they're definitely going to start trials by 2022. Anyway, fast forward to now, and they've still failed to get the regulatory nod to do so. On the other hand, a startup, Synchron, actually managed to receive the necessary approvals last year. In fact, the New York-based company was also founded in 2016, but with a much smaller team of 60 people, while Neuralink's got over 300 brains working on their projects. Also, the startup is also working on a pretty modest budget because it's only raised about $65 million, while the Musk-backed Neuralink has raised about $363 million so far. To top it off, when ready, the startup's brain chip doesn't even need to be surgically implanted inside the brain. And this makes it even more superior and easy to use than Neuralink's device. In fact, last month, Synchron already began its human trials in the US, and that's after it already used its device successfully on four patients in Australia. Up next, here's why Musk teamed up with the startup that beat Neuralink. If whatever we've told you so far wasn't enough, Musk reached out to Synchron's founder and chief executive, Thomas Oxley, to discuss what could be a potential deal and it's not clear whether the transaction would result in some sort of collaboration or tie-up between the two companies. In fact, many sources claim that Synchron still hasn't officially accepted the deal, so there's no certainty of whether they're actually going to go through with it. And while he's definitely one of the more famous faces behind Neuralink, the man's still one of two co-founders who are still at the company. Also, one of those co-founders, ex-president Max Hodak, announced back in February that he's going to be investing in Synchron. Clearly, Musk isn't the only one who's got his eyes set on Synchron. Just last year, Neuralink officially announced that they're working towards providing quadriplegic people the ability to control the cursor on any computer screen. How? With the company's brain chip, of course, but that'll be just the first application of its technology. And yes, that's pretty exciting, but with the way things are going, it looks like Synchron's gonna beat them to it. Now, there are definitely a lot of problems that Neuralink needs to fix. Just a few months ago, an animal rights group filed a formal complaint that Neuralink was subjecting their test monkeys to cruelty, and that's after 15 of their 23 monkeys even died in the process. With that said, the company responded that they had to euthanize a few monkeys after some complications such as device failure or other infections post-surgery. And, as a result of that, they've done whatever they can to improve their device design and surgical protocols further. Again, it might be a good reminder here that the Synchron brain chips don't even need to be surgically implanted in the brain. Anyway, apart from the regulators, even the company's own founders seem to have lost faith in the company's progress. In fact, Musk was one of the eight other investors who invested their money in the company's launch in 2016, and six years later, only two of those investors, including Musk, remain. Max Hoda, who was one of the investors, actually held the position of president at the company, only to leave Neuralink last year and invest in Synchron earlier this year. And the slow progress is started to get on Musk's nerves, who is now looking for alternatives to bring his vision of a brain-computer interface to life. And while we're talking about the two companies, it's worth noting that Musk has also reportedly been in talks with a bunch of other Neuralink rivals in the past. It turns out he's been after a deal long enough. Having said that, Musk still seems to have hope. He 
definitely reached out to Paradromics, the developer of Brain Machine Interfaces back in 2020, but nothing really came of those conversations, and Neuralink's demonstrated its progress, even if it's slower than we expected. Basically, they showed him a cock monkey controlling the cursor in a game of Pong. Plus, they still haven't started human trials, so Musk isn't really impressed yet. In fact, the company began its hunt for a clinical trials director who'd oversee the testing of their medical device on actual humans, but then again, it hasn't happened yet, and the FDA still has to disclose how far Neuralink really is in getting its approval. So, while we're unsure of what kind of deal Musk may have offered to Synchron, on the other hand, his recent tweet says that Neuralink's gonna give a progress update show and tell on October 3rd, and we gotta remind ourselves how absolutely unpredictable he really is. In fact, you can't expect him to publicly reveal his potential investments without working on something else simultaneously. If we're going by Musk's previous promises on Neuralink and other companies, it'd be too naive to actually have too much faith in his tweets right now. In fact, especially with the recent Twitter saga, we also know that Musk can very quickly move to either invest or even acquire something he sets his eye on. Now, whether that actually works out in his favor is something we'd gotta wait and see. Moving on, it might be a good idea to team up with Synchron after all. Rival or not, the startup's making a lot more progress on a restricted budget unlike Neuralink, which had everything they needed to back them up. And, with all the recent interest, regulatory approvals, and human trials, it's not surprising that Musk decided to reach out to them with a potential investment. In fact, Synchron implanted its brain-computer interface in humans during trials in Australia and United States. And while the U.S. human trials were pretty recent, and we're talking last month, it's been a year since the human trials in Australia on four people, all of whom are still safe and healthy today. Having said that, during the U.S. trials last month, Synchron implanted its brain-computer interface in the motor cortex of their human patient. And, physicians at Mount Sinai West in New York performed the experiment as part of a company's command study. This typically aims to evaluate the safety protocol of the synchronous implant in patients who are suffering from severe paralysis. And just like Neuralink, Synchron also hopes to give people with limited mobility the ability to control devices like computers and smartphones with their minds easily. So that gives them the independence to email, text, and a bunch of other digital tasks. Whether it's Synchron, Neuralink, or a new company that beats the two, the advancement of science is what really matters here. That's a wrap for this video. What's your take on the race between Synchron and Neuralink for the very first implantable brain chip interface? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.